Hello, citizens of the Commonwealth of Virginia and citizens all across this great country here in America, as well as this great state in Virginia. And yesterday I was up pretty late and more and stuff like that. As you see, my Republican dog is up here this morning with me. But we're going to discuss the Virginia Wesleyan College incident because me and of course, the second congressional district candidate being Loyola is supposed to be on Virginia Wesleyan College campus firing up the college Republicans there, as well as those who are independent and Republican leaning or those Democratic moderates who I invited each and every time frame to see how the no longer business as usual Republican gets the job done. Now, there's a whole bunch of hypocrisy right now. A whole bunch of it. And the reason why I'm going to explain this is because I want you to share this video each and every single time somebody talks about how Trump's comments about migrants or how Democrats is basically being attacked by Republicans and all that other stuff. And it's being misinterpreted, taken out of context, and also the liberal media is describing it in their own kind of way. That's a good thing about Merle Rutledge coming up to Virginia Wesleyan College on March 3rd, 7 o'clock. I'm telling y'all to be ready because I'm going to be there. Now, let's get to the point of why this Facebook Live is happening this morning. I'm going to give out a nice little tea for all of those who are talking about how the Trump supporter got what he deserved. Let's get this correct. Now, it's okay for a Trump supporter to have a Trump flag taken out of his hand, thrown to the ground, and told by security guards it's time to leave, and then being forced out. But all of a sudden, that's okay. I didn't see Bernie Sanders and Democrats saying, hey, that's wrong. He has the right to protest, regardless if it is a Bernie Sanders rally or not. He has a right to protest. So does the other three. They're not being violent towards people. They're just speaking their mind. But all of a sudden, Trump supporters get attacked. And everybody seems to be on board with it from the Democratic Party. But all of a sudden, when with thousands and thousands and thousands of migrants come to America's borders, trying to get into the country, and those border agents was telling them to leave, wait their place in line, just like so many other migrants had to in order to get in the country. It was okay to tell Trump supporters to leave. But because we didn't allow all the migrants to come into this country, force their way in and all that, all of a sudden, President Trump and the Republican Party is responsible for that. But y'all was okay with Trump supporters being told to leave on a private college university without no kind of problem with it. So it's okay for the American citizen to be told to leave. But the migrants being told to leave all of a sudden is a problem. Now, I'm going to deal with this the way I deal with it best. Because last night I was up to about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning and a Honduras lady was telling me how Trump, on the other hand, and Republicans, they are the ones who's causing all the nightmares. They're making comments about our people, calling us shitholes and all this other stuff. And I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. And talking about, hey, they're trying to get into this country. They're trying to have a better life. And Trump is holding up the process. So I said to myself, that's exactly what's supposed to be done. The process is supposed to be held up because we are not supposed to have any and everybody come into our country and destroy it. And two, we are not supposed to be taking on other countries' problems when good and well, if your country was doing so good, why are you trying to come into America? Let's get that straight. So, all of a sudden, now it's okay to discriminate on 
who comes into our country, who doesn't come into our country, just like it was okay to discriminate because somebody supports Trump and being told to leave, but y'all fine with it, Lawrence is a Trump supporter. Get what I'm saying? All that little tea that's going on. But these are the same Democrats out there talking about how Republicans are anti-immigration. But you can't deal with a Trump supporter, nonviolent, protesting, not hurting nobody, just making sure you know who to vote for. You can't deal with that within a couple of feet. But at the border, there was thousands and thousands and thousands of people who Democrats wanted to exploit and say that, oh, it's President Trump and Republicans not allowing y'all in. Us Democrats want y'all in here. That's cut the crap. President Barack Obama had the House, Senate, and the presidency during his first two years in office. If he wanted to do immigration reform, he could have done it then. That's the facts, people. Instead, he passed health care legislation where people can afford the health insurance that they got now. He wasn't thinking about immigration. The Democrats in the House and Senate wasn't thinking about immigration. But guess what? There was House Republicans who was trying to get the job done. Senate Republicans trying to get the job done. Difference is they wanted to do it responsibly. The thing is, one thing to take on other countries' problems. But the thing is, you got budget for those problems. It's affordable. How can it be done orderly? And how can it be improved without making knee-jerk decisions? That's the difference. But all of a sudden, it's President Trump's fault for him making some comments. And this is the other thing. They mad because he made some comments about another country. Based off the fact he was under duress. You have thousands and thousands and thousands of people coming to the border of America with limited resources and limited soldiers and agents, border agents at the border to take on this massive problem because of other countries having no leadership and those countries allowing their country to become a place and safe haven for drug dealers and murderers and rapists. Doesn't mean everybody in those countries are murderers, drug dealers, or rapists, or whatever have you, or in gangs. But those migrants are leaving those countries because their government has let it go out of control. But then you want to blame America for America not taking on the same problems that those countries have failed to fulfill for their own people. Y'all voted for these people in Honduras, Mexico, and other countries. Y'all voted for these people, and they brought you socialism. And now y'all are upset with America? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? You upset with America, the country that you trying to get in. And your family members in America is upset with Trump and the Republican Party. For your other country's problems. That's really what it boils down to. And Democrats have exploited. The fact that Trump has made comments. About your country. Trump is making the same comments. That is trying to stop. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people. From coming into America by force. And not taking on problems from other countries without checking it out. Now, I tell those countries, let's have the situation in reverse. Now, how about thousands and thousands and thousands of Americans coming over to your country? Your country only has a budget to take care of its country's problems. And then all of a sudden, thousands of Americans is forcing their way into your country. Let's see how your leaders feel about it. Let's see if they can take on Americans' problems over there in these South American countries or wherever these migrants come from. And let's see if your leaders don't make statements out there 
about a problem that wasn't their responsibility. That's the about that one. But you want to talk about the people who actually have to figure out a plan and a strategy in order to accommodate and make sure, one, America is protected, just like if the situation was in reverse, Honduras was protected from this massive group of people who are trying to get into their country and they don't know who they are. They haven't had a chance to do a background check or anything, but all of a sudden, this has became America's problems, just like I said in that scenario, would become Honduras' problem. It's just a double standard that certain political parties decide to exploit. And the reason why they exploit it is just due to the fact they believe that their countries or their political party needs to appear to be something that they're not. That's exactly what the devil does. But at the same time period, now we're dealing with a situation where people have this false belief that based off the fact that you're a Republican, that you are the ones who is against immigration. There's no Republican against immigration. We're just against the fact that people want to force their way into our country and don't want to follow our laws. And then we have to pay for it. We have people in this country that doesn't have adequate health care, doesn't have free tuition to go to colleges and getting housing for free in this country as American citizens. But we are saying we are going to provide that as incentive for those from other countries to come here so we could take on those problems. That is not even common sense. We can't take care of our own, but we are definitely going to sign up to take care of other countries' problems. The fact is, anybody could say because they are Democrat or whatever that they are here for illegal immigration or whatever, but they had the opportunity, like I said, to have immigration reform. They just chose not to. But we get blamed. Blamed. Every single time frame is beneficial for Democrats for the immigration and migrant problem. And so many think, hey, we believe in the family separation pro uh, policy. But that policy came in through the Obama administration. The cages that them kids and families was locked up in, that was Obama's policy. Obama's administration. Those cages were built by them. That was the only plan that they had at the time. And then all of a sudden the media starts reporting it because all of a sudden it's being used now for a problem that we didn't create. Those other countries created their own problems and their own mess. And the thing is, this is where the lack of leadership happens in socialist areas or liberal cities. And we talk about this all the time. These gangs and these drug dealers and more are not created at birth. The thing is, the leadership and the parenting and more allow one after one to continue to go into this black hole and nightmare of one of crime and the prison system. That's a problem that those communities allow to fester and then all of a sudden now it's convenient to point the finger and that's what Democrats do. They point the finger at everybody else instead of looking at themselves that we are the problem. We are the reason why my country is out of control. We dropped the ball. Our leadership dropped the ball. And now America has to be the one to pick it up and try to fix it. Trump only said enough was enough. We are paying for not only aid to these countries, but y'all abusing the funds that we are giving you. Y'all getting rich up there in leadership while your people is getting poor and broke trying to survive based off of your greed. The fact is Trump is only exploiting the problems and letting people know in these countries that where the root come from so y'all can fix it. Fix it in your own country. The same thing here in America. We didn't run from America. We built and fixed America. The same thing these countries have to do. 
You can't run from your problems. The problems are still going to be there and it's going to still keep continuing until you take action. But America is not supposed to be the fix-all for every single country. We have enough problems on our own. But for those to say that these comments that are made out there has uh, pissed people off or made them overly uh, sensitive or they feel like it's hate comments. Or, no, it's not hate comments. It's just due to the fact we took on a problem that your own countries created. Now, you want to come to this country, but understand this. The same party that is using it to exploit Republicans is trying to take God out of this country. And most of you countries come from, most of you migrants come from countries where you're Catholic, Christian, or believe in God. And some believe in that more than anything else in those countries. And realistically, now that's the party telling you to come to America. To give up your religious beliefs. To give up every single thing that you believe in so you could come here to this country. That all of a sudden, this very party wants to take away from you, which is your faith. America has to have rules just like these other countries have rules in order for entry into the country. We have to wait in the DMV line for a driver's license just like anybody else has to wait in line to come into America and come in the right way. We can't get into a vehicle and get pulled over without a driver's license. You can't get into this country without going through the proper process to make sure that you're here and not only here that you can be accounted for. The same chaos that happened in those countries started off the same way that you're trying to get into this country. Any place or any venue or any place that re requires security or cares about their citizens, it's going to have a process. Whether you don't like the process because it takes too long, it's not an American problem. America has an immigration policy, and those laws must be followed. When the laws decide to be changed by legislators, then of course those new laws will be implemented. But at this time period, it's not time for us to continue or allow for a practice that will only incentivize those to keep coming into the country illegally. When those come in properly and understand the ways they can better teach their other ancestors or those that come before them that this is the proper way to get into America and they do have law and order, which, of course, your countries don't have. So when people talk about what Trump said and talk about Republicans uh, a certain way and all this crap. I want you to share this video. I want you to tell them if things were so good in your country and you believe that what President Trump said was false and all this other stuff and that we are just basically a revenge party or a party that is against immigration. I want to say these three things. One, Democrats, which are exploiting it, like I just said, the recap, had the House, Senate, and the presidency the first two years of Obama's administration. And after two years, we got rid of them. Why? Because their policies and their socialistic agenda did not work, and it caused America to turn onto them. So they said forget immigration. Then, of course, the family separation, cages being locked up. They may have not said the statements, but they surely implemented the policies that back up those statements. So just because somebody doesn't become real with you, but if I'm doing everything to show you I don't want you here. That's really saying the same exact thing. But instead, I'm putting action. That was the Obama administration when it came down to a family separation policy. Then, at the same time frame, like I said, with thousands of thousands of Americans trying to go into Honduras, how would that leadership handle that problem? Would they just let us all in? Or would they decide to do or not to do to make sure Americans don't get in there? Not without going through the proper paperwork or the proper process. That's the same thing here in America. 
you have a process to get into this country. Just because Democrats say Republicans are to blame for immigration. Look at the reality of the situation. When Democrats had power, quote unquote, why didn't they fix all these problems that is wrong with the immigration system? Why didn't they fix it? It's one thing to talk about it, but talk is cheap. So when people say that people are treating a certain country or treating migrants wrong and vice versa, when did America cause these problems in these countries to cause these countries to come over here? We paid aid to these countries to help them out. Their leadership failed to blame Honduras leaders for why your country's out of control. Blame other countries' leaders for why your country is out of control. But don't come to the country that you want to allow you in, America, and then talk crap about us trying to get into our country. Does it give your leadership a break? That's what's really the issue here. You're talking crap and you're mad about Trump making statements under duress because Trump didn't cause that problem in those other countries. Y'all voted for the problems. Your country failed to correct the problems. And your country lacked leadership that continued to allow generation after generation to continue to exploit, not only exploit, but allow them to join gangs, join crime, join all these different factors that y'all cite as the reason to come to America to avoid, to get away from. This is the stuff that is coming out from your own country, not out of President Trump's lips or Republican Party uh, platforms and affiliation. This is your own country saying this is why we are leaving. So at this time period, when people decide to go ahead and say that America is always talking crap about other countries, then why is all these other countries trying to get into America? That's what it really, really boils down to. So, like I said, there's a lot of double standards with these different parties and these politicians that spend a career to basically saying whatever out there instead of looking at the truth and the reality of the matter. States like Virginia cannot take care of other countries' problems on a state budget. Virginia didn't cause these problems in these other countries. Trump didn't cause these problems in these other countries. Republicans didn't cause these problems in these other countries. These countries caused their own problems. So whenever people want to talk junk about President Trump or anybody else or the Republican Party or whatever and stuff like that, ask those very same people what you could have done to basically help these countries or help your own country or do for your country as you want for your country to do for you. And then when you hear the answer, most of the time frame is going to be pointing fingers every single place instead of your direction. That's what happened in the, even here in America, in the inner cities and more that is dealing with crimes and murder rates that are spiking upwards at astronomical numbers to the point that they are asking the federal government for assistance. The fact is any community, any place or any state or city or country, if leadership is broken, there will be chaos. And when people make bad decisions and continue to point the finger at everybody else, because most of the problems, no matter where the country is, came from somebody's home and out to the street with the lack of leadership. And then that spread it. That doesn't matter whether it's in America or Honduras. Sometimes people are quick to point the finger outside that door 
just because they don't want people knowing what is going on in their own home. So I look forward to going out to Virginia Wesleyan College. I plan on giving out a fiery speech. And trust me, this is not going to be a church service. And I plan on definitely bringing up this matter with the security guard throwing down a Trump supporter on the ground, taking their flag and all this other stuff while allowing Bernie Sanders uh, supporters and more to do whatever they wanted to do. The point is, it seems like people are okay with certain things happening that they are against. Loss is happening to somebody else other than them. It comes a time where you have to say to yourself, wrong is wrong, no matter where it's at and who it's applied to. Because it seems like so many people could quote civil rights leaders or other leaders' quotes. But when it comes down to it, their actions show the hypocrisy. So to everybody, good morning. I'm looking forward to being at Virginia Western College. And I look forward to America recognizing that America has its own problems. So when other people from other countries or whatever say that how bad America is to other countries, tell them, well, how bad was your country to its own citizens? And you have a good day.